Kazakhstan, a geographical heavyweight, in fact, the world's ninth largest country. But when it comes to tourism, it's punching well below its weight. Certainly from a, from a tourism perspective. So that the, the country is not well known, um, and that, that's part of the, the, the problem. Uh, it, it's also not a, a mass tourism destination. It's in a relatively remote part of the world. There's always a market for tourists to places that not many other people go to. This Central Asian nation may get over four million visitors a year, but they're mainly here for business. That's why Kazakhstan's now trying to boost its presence as a holiday destination on the new Silk Road through cultural and sporting events. The Asian Winter Games is widely seen here as part of Kazakhstan's renewed efforts to evolve from a commodity export-based economy to a multi-dimensional one that involves other industries such as tourism. But this is not without its challenges. Unfortunately, the uh, foreigners doesn't know anything about Kazakhstan. They think that we are riding the camels <laughs> and etc. They were quite wild or something like this. But I'm sure uh, because, uh, because of these Asian games, because of uh, lots of uh, other events, Kazakhstan will be available, will, will be more recognizable for foreigners. Some Western tourists don't think we are a safe country. And we still don't really understand what it is about Kazakhstan that is really interesting for foreigners. We are very far from Western Europe, and to fly here is very expensive. We are a very big country, and in order to travel across Kazakhstan, you need three to four hours by plane. Large, landlocked and distant from traditional source markets, Kazakhstan realizes it must play to its strengths, but also to its neighbors, whose growing middle classes are now hungry to travel. China, next to India, has a combined population of 3.5 billion. A lot of them don't see snow at all. That's why we all work hard in developing winter tourism. It will have to focus on a series of special interests and, and, and niche markets which take time to, to develop. Uh, fortunately for Kazakhstan, it has a, a nascent uh, winter sports uh, and adventure uh, sector. Take Vera Gudsaliuk. She runs stables outside Almaty, popular with the city's expatriate residents. But she receives only 25 overseas visitors a year, mainly Europeans wanting to ride horses in the Tian Shan Mountains. Yet Vera and others believe the potential for adventure tourism is enormous. We need to improve our services. We have very good air here, beautiful countryside. There is nothing more beautiful than Kazakhstan. If you will improve services a little bit, everything will be fine. Now, the thing that the asset that Kazakhstan has got is basically its landscape. It's a very beautiful country and people don't know that. I think they're interested in seeing new places, new landscapes, new cultures. Uh, we're looking at a world where, and in fact my research confirms this, that people are less and less interested in the conventional top ten countries anymore and more and more interested in the emerging countries. In its bid to diversify its economy, tourism offers Kazakhstan a better chance of spreading the wealth more evenly among its 16 million people than other sectors of the economy. Tourism, generally speaking, is labour intensive and tourism, generally speaking, is spread right around the country. But it can 
create employment geographically in, in a more uh, disparate uh, way than the, the energy sector or, or, or the commodity sector. The whole world will understand this is not only the place for oil and minerals, but this is the place where you can get high quality services for winter rest. And I strongly believe it will have a great impact on that. What the government is trying to do here, of course, um, is it's trying to develop a value-added economy um, and transportation and tourism to some extent as well um, are part of that. We see steady growth um, and you know we've no doubt that that, uh, that that can be realized just by virtue of the fact that the development potential is absolutely massive around here because of the region. If Kazakhstan focuses not only on niche tourism and targets emerging markets, it could be tapping into a winning combination that goes well beyond the Asian Winter Games.